Guys, I'm tackling a question today from someone who's immigrating into Canada and wants to know how to get into the industry when it comes to QA or regulatory affairs. Uh, the industry he's thinking about, food, natural health products, supplements, or something else. Guys, stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Brian back at you with another video where my goal is to mentor you to rewarding career and to help you create a life you're proud of in that endeavor. Today I'm answering a question from a regulatory or QA professional who is immigrating into Canada and really wants to know how to crack into the industry. But before I get into that, if you have a question that you want me to answer for a future video, you can submit your questions to me on my website, 101mentoring.com. I will answer it like this in a future video. It's free advice. There's fairly little investment on your part and I love doing them for you. But if you really want to work with me personally, there's a really cool app called Magnify. Essentially, you pay for the time you need. It's like pay by the minute mentoring, if you will. It's like a video session just like this. The app is on iOS as well as Android now, and uh, you can definitely find me there, book some time and go through a session like this. The only caveat is that it's really good for sessions that are less than 30 minutes, I would say. If you have one question or two questions that you really, really want a quick answer to, you know where to find me, and I think Magnify is a really great tool. Otherwise, check out my other personal services where I can mentor you one-on-one. -on -one. We can do a deep dive. Uh, I got different types of topics, choosing your major, getting you ready for a career or something else, or we could just do any topic that you prefer. Okay, enough of a plug for me. Let's get to the question at hand. This one comes from Gulab Jade. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. It goes, hi, Brian. I am currently working as a QA and regulatory compliance manager in the cosmetic industry, and I am immigrating to Canada next year. Awesome. Hey. Kudos to you for actually doing your research now and stumbling upon my channel. I should be grateful to you if you could advise and guide me on which sectors would I be able to use my experience in Canada. I handle everything from product registrations, label proofing, quality, GMPs, product profiles, etc. Do you think I would be considered in the pharma or food industry in spite of having a cosmetic experience? Also, please could you suggest which province would suit me better? Really good questions. Okay, now first things first is I don't know what country you're coming from. If you're coming from a developing country or a developed one or something in between. Uh, that is important to consider. I think a place like India or some, some places like China or the Philippines is a lot harder for people to break into the industry in a more higher or leadership role coming from those countries and moving into some a place like North America. That is the reality. It is unfortunate, but a lot of these guys, my gosh, they have the most strongest work ethic and they really can, if they do it properly, climb that corporate ladder fairly quickly. The other thing I don't know is what kind of company did you work for? Did you work for a really well-recognized brand like Estee Lauder or L'Oreal? I think those are really hard-hitting names and they will carry a lot of weight for you if you do come uh, from a different country, but from that type of company, I think that would be really, really beneficial for you. But if you're coming from a cosmetics company that is very local to your country or very well known in your country, but not really well regarded or known in the country that you intend to go to, well, that's going to definitely not help you as much. The other thing I really want to highlight and make sure that you have buttoned up is your communication skills. Now, based on what you've written to me, sounds like you've got English down pat, which is awesome. The other thing I really want to make sure you have down pat is your verbal communication skills. Can you speak English smoothly and fluently? That is huge. If you can, that would also really help you transition from another country over to Canada. Now, let's talk about your experience. You've obviously got it. Product registrations, label proofing, quality, GMPs, amazing. The thing that we don't know is whether you have that experience with regards to uh, the US or Canadian regulations and laws, or are those in compliance to your home country? Now, if it's to your home country, a lot of that information isn't transferable over to Canada because Canada has their own set of rules, has their own set of nuances, has their own set of enforcement, and it's a very different landscape. So within that regards, it's not 100% transferable. So that's something you have to really keep in mind. But your skill set, your mindset, your work ethic, all the technical expertise in that foundation is definitely there and definitely will help you. To your question, you say, do you think I would be considered in the pharma or food industry in spite of having a cosmetic experience? Well, to be honest, the industries, regardless of the country you're coming from, uh, are completely different. Yes, there are some parallels. Yes, there are some overlap. Uh, yes, there are some transferable skills, but for the very 
for the most part, food and pharma are completely different animals, right, than the cosmetic world. The registration, uh, the claims, the complexity of substantiation, of product development, of how you market, your consumer base, they're all different. They are completely different animals. So it's really hard, even within Canada, for Canadians to jump from one industry to the next, right? So on the surface, I think it would be easier for you to go from cosmetic industry to cosmetic industry in Canada. However, I understand that might not be an option for you, and that's why you are exploring food or pharma or dietary supplements or natural health products. You can definitely do that, but just be prepared to know that you might not be in a leadership role. You might be walking in through an entry level or a mid-tier role, and that's nothing to shy away from, right? You just want to get your foot in the door, get your experience, and then climb because obviously you've got the skill set, you've got the technical expertise. Now you just have to demonstrate that in the Canadian landscape. Now your last question is, could you please suggest which provinces would suit you better? Well, it really depends. Uh, but the biggest area is obviously on the East Coast. You know, you got your Toronto or Ontario areas. There's tons of industries that you can explore there, especially in the pharma or food, as well as in the cosmetic world. Um, you've got the West Coast, such as Vancouver. It's a very small industry, but at least that might actually give you the opportunity you're looking for um, to jump to a different industry. Maybe that there might be a food company or a dietary supplement company in Vancouver who is looking for that expertise and they're willing, because there's a less candidates available, they're actually open to bring someone in from a different industry uh, into their company. So that could be an avenue for you. And then there's going to be these other companies throughout Canada. There aren't that many though. But because, again, the talent pool is much smaller, they may be more willing to bring you in um, because there's less candidates to choose from. So there's definitely that to consider. But I think the big hubs is definitely the East Coast, Ontario, Toronto, that area. And then look at the West Coast. Uh, those are your two big two. And then after that, you might find some smaller companies in between. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if there's anything else I can do to help you out, please feel free to reach out to me. I love doing these videos. And in the meantime, it would mean a lot to me if you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to work with me personally, it really helps me build up my channel and gives me more opportunities to make the content even better for you. Go to my website, 101mentoring.com, check out my products and services, and I hope for us to work together. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.